What's up guys, this is Chadzilla here with Triforce Gaming. Now me and Pat Man were having some fun yesterday, kicking it retro with some Black Ops 2. You know, because it's, it's high on both of our lists of favorite Call of Duties. Um, you know, it's a fun wind down game, play with friends after you work, crack a few beers, whatever, have some fun, shoot some kids. Uh, we decided to run gunless and equip our combat axes and, you know, just start throwing them away at people. You can see I'm getting a few good hits in here, finally starting to warm up with my combat axe after being back on Black Ops 2, and I'm loving it. So sit back, relax, enjoy this game. I think I get 18 kills total with the combat axe, so, you know, kick your feet up and have a good time, and I'm going to talk about a little bit about Call of Duty's future right now. And right now, Call of Duty's future lies in the hands of Treyarch. Um... Now, Treyarch, Treyarch is now my favorite developer uh, in the Call of Duty series. It used to be Infinity Ward, but you know what happened with Infinity Ward with all the, the BS surrounding that. Um, I'll save you that soft story. But now Treyarch, you know, Treyarch's on top of the Call of Duty game. Um, they came out with World at War, and then Black Ops two years later, and then Black Ops 2. And now it's their turn again. Um, it has been rumored now for there to be a World at War 2 and a Black Ops 3. What I would like to see, I would love to see a Black Ops 3. I loved Black Ops 2. Now, Black Ops 1, don't get me wrong, was a very good game. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I don't like the old school shooters. That one was set in, I think, Vietnam. I don't like the older style shooters. I wasn't a huge fan of World at War either. Um, I like the I like the modern shooters. I like Modern Warfare one through three, and I loved Black Ops two. I feel like Black Ops two played the best out of any of the current Call of Duties. So let's talk what could be in Black Ops three then. First of all, what should Black Ops three take from Advanced Warfare? Well, a few things. I think Black Ops three should take the gun customizations as far as you get a random gun with. Um, different attributes and I also think that Black Ops 3 or whatever Treyarch's new game is should expand on the customization of your character and making the character really feel like your own I think Advanced Warfare that's what Call of Duty has been lacking in the past installments is customization as far as that goes I think Advanced Warfare took it in the right direction and I think Treyarch needs to run away with it Treyarch's been really good at um, advancing the series and breathing fresh air into an old formula. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room with Advanced Warfare, and that's exosuits. Do I think exosuits should stay? Do I think exosuits should leave? Um, personally, I don't know because it gives it gives good things and it gives bad things to the game. Um, Exosuit sped Advanced Warfare up and made it an even faster game than Call of Duty already is, which I do like. That's very good for the competitive scene also. Um, it also gives the developers more freedom to develop um, more intricate and vertical maps, which Call of Duty desperately needs. And on the single player side of things, I think the Black Ops uh, series of games has a very interesting and different storyline than you know a lot of the other standard call of duties and i think that treyarch could really flesh the story out even more and create an even more interesting story experience with the characters that it's already established in black ops 2. um i don't really remember world at war story that well and it wasn't that memorable because again world at war was a very cookie cutter war game for the time so as far as story and world at war there leaves a lot to be desired but those are just a few expectations I have of Treyarch's next Call of Duty moving forward, whether it be Black Ops 3 or World at War 2 or a completely new Call of Duty, quote unquote. But those are just a few of the things I think are going to be in the next Call of Duty. I'd like to hear your guys' opinion, so comment down below when you think the game's going to be announced, what do you think's going to be in it, what kind of, fe what kind of features they're going to have. Um, you know, get a discussion going because I'd really like to know your, your inputs on it. And remember to join the force, guys. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. We love you.